There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. YouTube, Six Sam, the new way to play Six Sam. This is becoming very popular and quite dominating. The new way to play Six Sam is with Clash. World Legacy Clash. This card is Poggers. This card, you banish a face-up monster you control until the end phase. Then you target one face-up monster your opponent controls. That target loses attack and defense equal to the original attack and defense of the card you banished. Why is that good? Well, first of all, it's a cost to banish, so they can't negate it. They could, neg If you negate this card, it will only negate the attack and defense reduction. Your monster will still be banished and will still come back in the end phase. And the best thing about this is it's permanent. And the other best thing about this in a six Sam deck, I should say, is when comboed with dual wield, you're feeling real good. Let's keep talking about this card though. If you attack into a defense position monster face down, they flip it up into Sazank, you could world legacy clash your monster off the field. Your monster is so well protected, it is nuts. Let's say another great thing about this card, because I got lots of great things to say. Let's say they have two big monsters, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon, they swing into you. They swing into your monster, your keys on. In the damage step of the first attack, you could World Legacy Clash, banish off your keys on, and reduce the attack of the other Blue Eyes White Dragon. What you basically did was you negated the first attack. They do not get a replay because they enter the damage step. And then the second blue eyes that goes in is reduced by 1900 by 1800 permanently. And the next turn you make big plays. So it's a very great card, big brain, use it in the damage step, love it. Now in a six Sam deck, we use it with dual wield. Dual wield requires us to have a six Sam in attack position and only one. So the problem with this card is it's incredibly predictable it forces you to sit on one six Sam when you really want to push for game or push for progress in that game when your opponent is playing around it. So now the downside of dual wield is removed when you have a world legacy clash. You could have more than one monster on the field. And the best thing is, since this is a cost to banish your monster, you could chain dual wield to the clash. You don't have to clash, let it resolve then dual wield so the absolute direct moment you want to use dual wield if you have a clash you could use it right then and there exactly when you want to use it then the rest of the deck by the way dual wield if you don't know what it does one six salmon attack target two cards your opponent controls return them back to the hand so we are also playing this with beatdown beatdown gives us plus 300 per level per level five or higher monster we control which will be our synchro monsters it allows Xi'an to be 2800 to swing over Stygo to swing over Uma it's very important you could potentially play tie that binds with this you could also potentially play light and dark skill by adding the legendary secret of the six Sam and then you could search for your Anishi or Anishi could search for your legendary secret of the six Sam so you normal summon Fuma special summon this it's an option so this was Medziar's idea to play legendary secret of the six Sam that's the idea I got it from but, you know, fully built like this, I got the idea from Nyx, but everyone's playing this. The ladder, top players, this is the way to play Six Sam. Dojo semi limited to two, because it's amazing. You summon a Six Sam, it gains a counter. You can special summon Six Sams from your deck. The boss monster of the deck is Xi'en. Xi'en, negate a spell slash trap once per turn. Very powerful. Xi'en with a clash and a dual wield. Even if you don't have another monster in the field, clash will deal with the single monster and dual wields will deal with anything beyond a single monster. That's what is just so great about this combo. And we have three Uniteds to ensure we draw into the combo. Anishi is still amazing alongside any other six Sam in the field. Banish two six Sams from your grave, return any face up monster back to the hand. Special summon keys on from your hand to make your Synchro Shokan with Fuma. Fuma if destroyed, special summon any six Sam. That's the whole gist of the six Sam deck. If you already own the cards, you already know it. If you don't own the cards, I'm not going to tell you to invest in this deck. Just sit back and enjoy the gameplay. Hajime! Phantom 
X Inc. Good night, man. Good night. Phone needs charging, and so do I. I hit eighth cog at about three hours ago. Good job on that, Phantom X Inc. Thank you for being here. Let's do it. Let's draw some cards. Keys on. Love it. What's the duel room? Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Why the hell would I tell you? What the? Um, I guess it's worth clashing just to mess up his monster, man. Just mess it up. Mess it up. Oh, we can mess it up by 19. Okay. I mean, he does. He's not. He's supposed to not know. He's supposed to not know. Banish. That's just so ridiculous that this could be using the damage step. That's just wow. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Am I going to play around Lava Golem? I don't think so. No one asked that, but I asked myself that. He's not supposed to know. Don't tell him. <laughs> Clash again? I could. He might balls deep me. I'm not going to risk it. Kokamiru Ice! Got me. Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion. We got Nishi. We got this, boys. We got this. We got this. Okay. All right. All right. I don't think you're going to be able to use that uh, third fusion, boy. I don't think so. Look at your extra deck. You got one card left. You couldn't fill it. You couldn't fill it with three other random cards. Come on, man. Come on. Nothing happened to me. What are you guys talking about? Inishi. Shien. Kizan. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. All right. Let's just make our Shien. Make the Shien. Make the beatdown. And then we have double, double banish. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's over for you, boy. It's over for you. Bacon. Gotta do the bacon. Gotta bacon. Back to the hand. This duel is all about Legacy Clash. Love it. Love it. Nishi's only once returned, so we want to use the first. And now we use the second on his turn. Eddie Cade, so sorry to hear what happened to you, man. That really sucks. Hope things get better soon. I mean, who would have thought pegging could lead to anal fissures? Certainly not me, but I know you'll get through this. You'll come back stronger than ever and peg harder than ever. Go beyond, DK plus ultra. Thank you. Now remember, Anishi is only on face-ups. Remember. You better remember. Play it only because he is sniping. He knows. He knows. We'll go in with the Shien because he wants to send my Shien back to the hand. And not my Anishi. He sends back Anishi. Yep. All right. We got him. We got him. Do it. Do it! Negate! YouTube, hit the gym! Get something done! Let's do it! Together! Six Sam World Legacy Clash! 80 Changer. What the? What the? TK. Uh, uh, Stevie, do, DK, do you think of the greatest? Okay, thank you, Stevie. I, I know I am. I know I am. Thank you. Anishi. 
Dojo. Watch this, Stevie. Bet you never saw this trick. We're gonna crash the Fuma in, and then we're gonna get big monsters. You fool! You thought I was gonna crash it! Come on, Stevie! Come on! Jesus! Fool! Oh, flash. Right there. Draw, dual wield, dojo. All right. Shien, negate, sit on the dual wield. It's even more obvious that you have a dual wield when you do not summon with your dojo, which is usually ideal. It's got sealed tombs. You might have a seed there. Okay, we got Sphere Kribo, which. Turns off our dual wield. Now dual wield is turned off. I didn't want to say it until he did it because he's listening. If I don't win this duel, then 6 a.m. are trash. Why? This is a Synchron deck probably. Oh, okay. It's common for a top tier deck with Sphere Kribo in their hand if they go first to pass. So don't... Don't think like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's a mistake. This could be very much considered an ideal top tier play. All right. Let's go with the Nishi. Put that back to your hand, boy. All right. Key Zon. Key Zon. Key Zon. We'll do it again. We'll do it live. Another sphere. Got him. Got him. Nishi is not good under seal tombs, which he could seal my wombs whenever. Got clash for one monster, dual wield for two. Clash for one, dual for two. Now, this is where you turn your toggle on. Why? Because if he sets a monster, we could dual wield. Just like that. Back to the hand. If we want to do that. If we want to do that. Because he could just resummon the Kaza Brain. Maybe we don't want him to do that. Yeah, I actually would. I probably would just dual wield right away. Just buy him. Okay. All right. If this is a Dragon Spirit of White, okay. What could he have? He is not normal summoned yet. Not yet, of course. I mean. We know all, we all know that was not random. Well, Clash, he cannot chain the Dragon Spirit of White. He cannot summon a Blue Eyes because I got no monster on the field. I got no monster on the field. Back to the field. Now, now is when he could do it, which he has it. He has it. Okay. All right. Okay. What do we do to that then? Well, how about we just win? How about we just win? He does have blue eyes. He's got it. He's definitely got it. Rehan. Not Rehan. Not Rehan. Beatdown. So he has to activate it before our attack or we win. If he activates before our attack, we win. If he doesn't activate it, we win. Whatever he does, we win. Just like that.
Hey! Fool!